Tuesday Insight. I'm meteorologist Danielle Noyce here for the One Degree Outside Weather Network. It has been cold here at home. Do not get me wrong. The wind has been brutal, adding that bite to the air. But for some perspective, there's Arctic air stationed over the central United States that's bringing temperatures 40 to 45 degrees below average, all the way from the northern plains back down into the southern plains. Record cold high temperatures both today on Tuesday and for Wednesday. Extreme cold warnings extend all the way from the northern plains back into portions of Texas. That cold air is in place and there's storminess that extends down to our south. The big areas of pink and purple here are winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings that extend all the way from Oklahoma and Kansas east to parts of Virginia and North Carolina. And that's where we're going to see some heavier snow amounts over the next 24 to 48 hours, winter storm warnings in effect. And that's with the jet stream that's steering the storms, right? We get a little bit of relatively milder air that's causing that kind of battle zone to take place as areas of snow expand east during the day on Wednesday and into Thursday, down to our south through the mid-Atlantic, the southeastern United States with areas of heavy rain. And the bulk of this system tends to strengthen, but mainly miss us in terms of the heaviest precipitation off to our south and east. Now it gets close enough that we get grazed as we had during the day on Thursday and Thursday night with a little bit of snow, a little dip coming in and then pushing it offshore. So what does that mean for snowfall totals to our south? That's the jackpot zone with a big area here, notice, of eight to 12 inches into portions of southeast Kansas, far northeast Oklahoma, and then stretching east through much of southern Missouri into far uh, western portions of Kentucky here and northern portions of Missouri, the deeper blues extending east into West Virginia with a widespread four to eight inches. And then another little bullseye here, right over Eastern Virginia, near Virginia Beach and Northeastern portions of North Carolina where they're likely to see eight to 12 inches. And there'll probably be some locally higher amounts in there as well. For us here at home, and Matt talked about this yesterday, the highest risk is along the South Coast and Southeastern Massachusetts. So I'm gonna show you here the probability of an inch or more of snow in 24 hours. So this is ending by Thursday evening, you notice, and it's a very low risk, about 10%. It does bump up though, to about 30 through the South shore and then 50 to 70% when you get along the South coast and then near the canal and Cape Cod. And that's because you're closer to the storm center. So this will be a fairly minor event, but something we will watch closely because if the storm comes even just, you know, 15, 30 miles farther north and west, we're going to bump those amounts up a little bit in terms of a chance of picking up an inch of snow. And that is likely on Cape Cod, may even be a few locally higher amounts on the outer Cape back down to Nantucket. No problem with mixing or anything this time around with the cold air that's been in place. So through the day tomorrow, it's a quiet day here at home and there's less wind than what we've experienced. It'll be a little bit of a breezy day and any sort of breeze adds that little bit of a nip to the air but it's not gonna be gusting over 40 miles per hour, 20 to 30 miles per hour in general. Snow down to our south, even by Thursday morning, but watch as the storm, yes, mainly passes to our south and east. We get a little bit of light snow that does come into southeastern New England. And there's a little upper level energy that swings through far western New England. So I do expect an expansion of some light snow showers through Vermont and far western and northern New Hampshire and into the Berkshires by Thursday evening and overnight that may drop a coating to an inch or two of snow, particularly with elevation. Friday's a quiet day, the storm departing. The wind will kick up a little bit again on the backside as that storm moves out of here. Varying amounts of sun and clouds, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday each day, nudging the temperature up just a little bit. So we talked about that yesterday too. No weekend storm, it's gonna be a little bit odd after these past several weekends, but it looks good for both Saturday and Sunday if you have weekend plans. High temperatures for our Wednesday, teens to the north, 20s in central and southern New England. Maybe we hit 30 along the south coast. But again, the wind is not as strong as these last couple days. The bit of a breeze will still make it feel like it's in teens and single digits across far western and northern New England. So a bit of a bite to the air, but nothing as extreme as the last couple days. The wind eases even more on Wednesday night, but the cold air is still in place. So we go sub-zero still in a few portions of far northern New England many single digits and lower teens when you get along the south coast. By the time we get to Thursday, still colder than average by about 10 degrees, even a little bit more in spots. Most of us running in the 20s to around 30, but not much wind. Those areas of light snow developing over southeastern New England will watch closely. Friday, it's offshore. And notice the temperature bumps up a little bit, about 30 to 35 degrees in southern New England, 20s to the north. But I mentioned that wind on the back side of that system will kick up a bit. So I do expect a few gusts.
that will go over 30 miles per hour, particularly for Cape Cod. The rest of us, it's a breezy day, no damaging wind, but it adds a little bit of a chill. Saturday, that wind shifts around just a little bit and will be lighter. 30 to 35, 20s to the north. Actually, a pretty pleasant February weekend overall. And just a reminder, we've got swag. Swag.1degreeoutside.com. Umbrellas, maybe you don't want that yet this time of the year, but sweatshirts, winter hats, so many different colors and sizes to choose from. Again, just head on over to swag.1degreeoutside.com. It's linked to the top of our website as well. Of course, one degreeoutside.com and social media where you can get all of our weather updates too. We'll see you with more weather later on.